This dude just made a whole money segment to just say the quote. It's not always about the money, Spider-Man. What is up guys, Jack here with another video. So, Badger, the guy behind Totally Akadrib Battle Drown. Yeah, it's an actual thing. Go and check that out. I also have a reaction to that. Has brought out another video. This one is called Swaz. It still features Totally Accurate Battleground Simulator. And I guess it's like a mixture of swag and sauce. But without further ado, let's jump into the video. This video is sponsored by TabG. No, not in okay. the dropping a pallet of money on me type way, in the I'm officially in the video game type way. Wow! That is actually my voice, and that is actually my skin. Pickle. But I'll tell you about it later, alligator. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he uncultured. What? I'm uncultured because I called Otis from Barnyard a domestic terrorist and what that bed wars are? I'm uncultured. I'm not wrong about Otis, though. I Looks did. like you're going to be banned to the Shadow Realm, Jimbo. I feel like I'm sitting at the Airsofters. Dude. This man, he went from having some stuff made to him by Ubisoft. Like the Badger figurine was literally a thing that you could buy. Then, of course, the promo code and all that. But that's that's that's, that's typical. But he got the spoon into Payday 2. Now you have this. Man, he's reaching out. And, uh, I mean, he's already more next level than most editors out there. Good on you, Badger. It's lunch table right now. TA Sports. I'm in the game. No, seriously. <laughs> I'm in the game. And let me explain. Swouse. About a year ago, I uploaded a video on the greatest and dumbest battle royale to ever exist, totally accurate battlegrounds. That's which fair. you guys seem to really enjoy. Please kill me. And after a second video blabbing on about how dumb the game was, and a third video blabbing on about how dumb the game was, the developer Landfall Games was like, hey, dipshit, if you think the game is so dumb, why do you keep uploading it? To which I responded, that is a fair point. No matter how much I dunk on it, it is the best VR ever. So how would you feel about being in the game? So how would you feel about being in the game? Of course I want to be in the game, you <laughs> fucking moron. This discourse is greatly exaggerated. It didn't sound like this. They're actually very kind, courteous Swedish people, but picturing it this way seemed yeah. less boring. Fast forward to today, and not only is the game now free to play, but I have my very own voice pack containing 341 Whoa. words you can spam in game. You can even control the pitch. Pickle, pickle, pickle. Pickle, pickle, pickle. pickle. <laughs> Why are there just so many words? Perish. <laughs> Swag, dank, swouse. Dear God. Come. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is sus in there? Sus. <laughs> Swag, download, Whoa. complete. <laughs> that mongoose was dripped out. Bucks, depending on which money coin bundle you buy, you have a license to shit post with my voice. Swouse. Swouse. Okay, that's. Swouse. Feels like I know a it may be a little pricey. Like, buy. what the fuck? Eight to twelve dollars? I wouldn't download that shit dude. for free, bad. <laughs> But remember, the Tab G is now free to play, so the servers and yeah. development are entirely funded by cosmetics and voice packs like mine that are essentially YouTube. <laughs> the Gator skin, though. I gotta like it. Oh, it's it's so Floridian like. I actually seen a guy walking around with a, a Florida man suit like that. I mean, that makes sense. Poops you can purchase, so just give it some thought. What? Give it some thought. That's your call to action? Fuck you, Spider-Man. How did you even get- Just tell them you like money. You make money if they buy it, right? Of course I make no. money if they buy it. You think I wouldn't monetize this? I'm more capitalist than- He's going for the quote, isn't it? It's about money. It's not a big deal. Look, look, look. <laughs> hey, everybody. This guy likes making money. See, nobody cares. It's not always about the money, Spider-Man. I just wanted the word swouse in a video game. Can it be both? <laughs> This dude just made a whole money segment to just say the quote. It's not always about the money, Spider-Man. Can we, can we slow clap, please? Wow. Buying it is by no means necessary to have fun in Tab G. I just get a real kick out of screaming at new players that don't know how to jump yet. Nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. And if that wasn't enough, they gave me my own goddamn skin, which was an yeah. impossible decision, by the way, because I knew I wanted it to either be a shark suit or a croc suit due to my fascination with animals that are old as fuck. Like sharks? Do you know how They're fucking pretty old. tight sharks are? Check this out. Those motherfuckers are so old, they are older than trees. Yeah. Wait a minute. Is that true? 
trees. Sharks are more than 450 million years old. Even That's the earliest deep. tree didn't sprout his dumb what ass up until around 380 period. million years ago. Isn't that fucking insane? There's Quick note here, because I'm fun at party. Cambrian explosion, thing that gave birth to life on the planet million years ago. Once there was an explosion, a bang which gave rise to life as we know it. 500 or so million years back then, you have the Paleozoic period. That's when everything kind of looks like the creatures in Spore. Damn, you're ugly. I can't be the only one who got freaked out by those creatures. Am I the only one? Okay, I'm sorry. Well, then you have then the Auto Viking period. Yeah, that's where the sharks came out. Where every creature, like the fish, started to turn American. You know, like the bigger the better, brother. And yeah, everything just got to be too big. But yeah, essentially, that, that, that is correct. They are pretty old. There's currently a living great white shark in the ocean that was alive when Christopher Columbus did his shit. <laughs> Wait a minute. BS. I back check this. That shit ain't true. At one point, there was a Greenland shark we thought was 500 years old, but we recently oh. checked our math, and it's probably closer to 400 years old, which is still a long fucking time, yeah. but it was not a great white, and his ass did not see Chris Columbus. No fucking shot. I mean, I'm just saying, he was in the motherfucking water. Then you have us in our stupid change. DNA. <laughs> Damn, there's more plastic Going about 120. nowadays, but that's it. Yo, what's this clear shit that's making it hard to breathe? Yo, should I <laughs> stick this straw in my nose because I'm a dumbass turtle? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Fuck them turtles, man. If they're too Little dumb to get a fuck. straw in their nose, who sees trash and is like, I'm going to eat that? <laughs> <laughs> and well, crocodiles they don't know are 200 million years old. That's 100 million years older than the T-Rex. And that may not sound like chickens. that long ago, but even the earliest humans are only a couple million years old, and modern humans like us are only a couple hundred thousand years old. for history teacher. <laughs> so if you've ever complained that Jurassic Park isn't a real thing, it is a real thing. It's, it's just Florida. It's not called Jurassic Park. It's called Florida. And yes! the mortality rate is much higher. <laughs> I work as a deli clerk in Florida. I daily deal with... <laughs> okay, to be fair, it could also... It could also have been Australia, but the thing is just, it's a bit too barren to make that comparison. Yeah, Florida. <laughs> I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. Florida people trying to prove their authority to someone who's from the Northeast. <laughs> Anytime <laughs> I have to deal with these morons, I can only remember that they're Florida people. <laughs> they can't even dig their own graves. <laughs> they literally live in a swamp. Oh. They're fucked anyway. <laughs> Wow, you do not like Florida people. Half the chat. Oh. Which is why I went with a custom croc suit over the shark suit. Because Metal Gear Solid already proved yeah. it's tactically effective at fooling enemies. Sharks don't exist on land, except King Shark. And it's better Alligators. linguistically. Like, you've heard of Elf on a Shelf, but have you ever heard of Croco with a Glocko? <laughs> you can shoot anybody that comes at us, all right? It's a little cheaper than the voice pack at six to eight bucks. Again, depending on which money coin bundle you buy. And I've got nothing but incredible feedback so far. I spent money on this. Mm -hmm. I feel nothing to pay. <laughs> Rock. Kill me. <laughs> look at him. Look at him go. He didn't even say anything. You were just where is I'll he going? Getting the water may be actually pretty good with this. <laughs> Keep in mind that my voice pack and croc suit are only available for a limited time because Tab G does rotate the item shop. So if you want it, be sure right, to get it soon. Cool. I can only Got bully Lance nice Ball into bring my items back so many times before they refuse. Just bully Tab G to putting it back, even though it was not supposed to be available. That's the kind of gauntlet power that I have nowadays. I was just like, put that shit back, and they were like, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> Travis Scott back in the store. <laughs> Why isn't he back in? And even if you hate my voice pack and croc suit, there's still a battle pass and plenty of other drip that's literally called drip to spend your money on. Grouse and Bada wow. hit up Scooby-Doo drip with Fred and Shaggy outfits, which began with a game of Rate My Fit and ended with Shaggy starting a thermonuclear war. This is the Fred Jones from Scooby-Doo drip. Please stay out of the way. <laughs> You're so fucking upset. Rate My Fit, Badger. No, I'm trying to kill this dude right now. What did you say earlier? Well, folks will have the audacity to say I had a dream about you and not tell me if my <laughs> pit was hard. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys?
got to say, wait. I'm giving you half the floor. Oh, shut the fuck. Why are you stepping on my head? Why are you laying on the ground letting your head be stepped on? I don't know. <laughs> that just sounds like abuse with extra steps. Why aren't you yeah, on the elevator, dog? Like, what's the problem? <laughs> Spread out, gang. I'm going to go with the girls to the bedroom. Daphne, Velma, and I are going to check it out. Hey, Grouse, I'm so glad you showed up. Way to be on my damn <laughs> screen. Up, man. Oh, fuck. I got I to gotta see if I can, like, form a shaggy. Fit. Velma, stay the fuck away. Shaggy and I are going to the bedroom. <laughs> That's a buff ass <laughs> Velma. Run. Oh, okay, 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 okay. okay. What did you do, Shaggy? Shaggy calls in a new. Like soy scoop, thermonuclear war. I really don't care what kind of drip you have, as long as you have something on your noodly ass body. Because there's plenty of free cosmetics and having zero drip, and I mean zero drip, just. Yo. This man could have gotten anything. He decided to be like, let's take everything. <laughs> You've got the PD2 masks. You have the banana revolvers. You have his rainbow suits on. I like the shogun like helmet that made with knives. Oh. Dude. Makes me uncomfortable. Who is this? Is that a decoy? Why decoy? are you just butt ass naked? Like, you have no drip. This <laughs> actually makes me a little uncomfortable. This is a person. Stop That's capping, man. Sentence. You have Hold people on, drip. Wave at it. Oh. Well, they just died. No matter what you're wearing or what you're streaming, Tab G is outrageously fun if you actually play the game. Because with tons of you guys joining our lobbies, things often shift from a battle royale into a VR chat server. <laughs> 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 but it turns out that playing a battle royale, like a battle royale, is a fucking blast. And I want to start with vehicles. There's just something about always having a car and making sure nobody else does that drastically increases your odds of victory. Even if you are just doing drive-bys with a BAR. Yo, why is that bar sticking through your chest the wrong way? Don't hold that bar like that. This was in the manual. Eisenhower said it. How many world wars did you win? Like you're gonna do a drive-by with a bar. I'm pretty sure they did it to like everybody in Berlin. <laughs> <laughs> Why is there just a forest demon sitting out here? What the fuck? God. I like alcohol too, buddy. Does that's that mean that Blitzkrieg was the ultimate like start of gang warfare? Basically. I don't want to say we drop bloods into Berlin, but... <laughs> Winston Churchill throwing up crib outside the room. <laughs> <laughs> Churchill! <laughs> nice. Oh, I'm sorry, you were wearing a croc suit. I hate it when you lock it's... a car and it's... <laughs> Like, it's a blood, like it's it's a blood so and a creep at the same time. Like, like, let's go! Yeah. Please. Please. Yeah. That was, oh, I made it! His <laughs> what? <laughs> and the wacky combinations of weapons, buffs, and items always keep Tab G fresh. Like, I had a rare relax blessing which rapidly heals you and your teammates if you go prone, which went perfectly with my croc suit, by the way, along with flashbangs, a taser, and a flintlock. I don't know. There's just something Flame about dog. somebody getting flashed or tased, and what's the first thing they see in a state of pure panic and delirium? My dog ass with a fully loaded flintlock. Tase him. I tased him! Get him on the crack! I got the epic relax. I'm an actual crocodile mm -hmm. right now. Fight me, you bastards. I want to heal up a little bit. Here, here, come step on me. All right, here we go. Flash out. Don't look at it. Yes. Oh, I nailed his ass! I shot him on the ground like a fucking rat. I revived you. Step on me, step on me. Reload, reload! Yes, I got him! Wow! I'll take a blunderbuss over a Barrett or a minigun any day of the week. I know a 50 BMG is a big round, and I know a minigun fires a whole lot of rounds, but whatever the hell is coming out of that flintlock is unmatched. Barrett, Barrett, Barrett. Right. Oh, oh my god! I nailed that. that vest did not do anything. I mean, no, it didn't. One. <laughs> Slunderbuss hits even harder than a Barrett. Vico Tori. Wow, wow. You really are airing out this whole bar, and it took me one <laughs> shot with a Blunderbuss. Okay. I uh, softened him up for you. End him. Oh, Joe Mama. <laughs> that was not a man's last words in an old Your mama. I just don't. I don't want that to be a reality. I'm picturing a cowboy walking up to a widow that he has just made a widow, taking his hat off. <laughs> his last words were, Joe Mama. 
<laughs> Old ass weapons aren't limited to flintlocks either, because hand cannons exist, and not that kind of hand cannon. No, the that actual kind of hand, hand cannons. Cannon, yeah. This kind of hand cannon. This is so low. Uh, Got to play with I'm one dude. Donk donk. Oh. <laughs> With the hand cannon. I'm convinced that we need to go back to using muskets and cannons for home defense after recently becoming a first-time gun owner. Modern calibers are so expensive to shoot nowadays that if you're being robbed, you're better off holstering your pistol and giving the thief your wallet. It's a better financial decision. You should have given them the money in your wallet. You should have started negotiating. Take out your gun and start negotiating. Say, I don't want to mag dump you. This is a bad decision. <laughs> it's going to cost like me too much to shoot you down. Your lunch Wait. table right now. The, oh my god. <laughs> How long were you in, in Washington before you went out and bought a fucking Glock? Right at 90 days. I went to a local range and I tried out a ton of 9mm, a ton of 40 Smith & Wesson, fuck that caliber, it's stupid. And then That's a ton nice. of 45 and I was like, 45 is good, 9mm is good. Let me sh literally shoot every CZ, every Glock, every SIG, every Smith & Wesson, every 1911, every Nighthawk you got. And I was like... Yeah, I'm gonna buy a Glock 17. <laughs> Wait, Glock why is 17? Because it's full size. The original Glock, it's classic, and it's got 17 rounds. It actually makes what? sense. Not no, like 30. Glock 19. It has nothing to do with 19. It holds 15 rounds. This makes no sense. Glock 45, <laughs> not chambered at 45 ACP. What the fuck is this entire branding? 45 fat slow, but definitely stopping an intruder. 9 mil, you got like oh. a ton of them. 40 Don't Smith and Wesson, fuck you. All Everything bad about every other caliber right. in a caliber. 40 Smith the Wesson is someone is what uh, someone doesn't know how to mid max in a game. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like just pick one strength or death. Oh, bro. Yeah, when you're feeling well. With a Glocko happens to be a viable strategy. I feel like plenty of people, myself included, will always opt for that big ass single shot weapon that'll erase you in a single blast. But sometimes hurling hundreds of rounds and dodging like a maniac wins out. What the bit. fuck? Oh, oh. I got him. <laughs> that Croc swimming. Look at him go. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Mess with the Croco, you get the Glocko. No, this is a perfect time to use my Croc camo. Nobody will know that I'm a Croc. Just crawling along the ground, look at me. No <laughs> one's suspecting a thing. Get out, get out, get out. I downed Tron virus. All I have is a Glock. Okay, I downed another one. I got downed by Floyd Flamingo. <laughs> I got... It wasn't all perfect because I had plenty of new curses that I'd never seen before, like curse of randomly shooting, which is self-explanatory, curse oh. of only turn right, where you literally can't turn left, and curse of rubber banding that truly feels like Xbox Live 10 years ago. What? Wait, 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 wait. I can't turn left. I can't go that way, but I can go this way. Just fine. Curse of rubber banding? That the, sounds no, terrible. that's annoying. What okay, the but, oh, that's it's terrible. It's really good when you're fighting people because, like, they can't predict where you're going to rubber band to. I'm just stuck in a... Oh, yeah, looting is ass. That <laughs> curse of random shooting. Oh, this is awful. Oh, that sounds oh, really hey, bad. And there was also a situation where I got stuck in terrain and was forced to have my own voice spammed at me for several minutes. Oh, that's no. The that's the worst. Voice. Having your memes Literally used against you. Earth is gonna get the God damn it, I am stuck in terrain. Get me out. I got Brother, stuck in this I am pinned like here. <laughs> infinite clipping. Get me out. Pull up. Terrain. Pull up. Terrain. Okay. I still punch you. <laughs> Pickle. Pickle. There's. There's no oh point. no! I don't have resources to break me out of here. Give me a break. I know one of you fuckers has a grenade. Oh, that works. That works. That works. That works. I think. <laughs> oh, still work. stuck. It's gonna break me out. I have to admit, I think that made it worse. I do not right. think that has improved the situation at all. But even when shit was going south, you guys always managed to make it better with your arrivals in Twitch chat. I don't know how so many of you out there can be such a special kind of weird, but I can't help but enjoy myself when you share your stories. What? Red Hood? I'm covered in coal dust, tired, and now watching this dumb motherfucker play a damn noodle game? This day is great. Why are you covered in coal? Do you work in a, in a mine? I, I watched my coworker get crushed.
You're at Chili's right now, Nugget Lover OP? Really? You're <laughs> in a Chili's? You're in a Chili's location right now. Ow. Like, no cap. I'm what state? Do Don't glue. say Florida. Need some burn cream for the smoke my fantasy football opponent just blew up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, first time catching a stream, I just want to say the look on my boomer co-workers' faces when I tell them I'm drinking guacamole gamer fart made my day. <laughs> like, boomers don't understand. They don't. Guacamole gamer fart has nothing to do with ruining the housing market, so <laughs> they wouldn't understand it. <laughs> <laughs> and to round things out, I highly recommend you check out Tab G, which is now free to play. Even if you don't buy my dipshit croc suit or voice pack, it's a truly unique experience unlike any other Battle Royale, and it's it very is. welcoming to new players. Even the best players in the game, like Saltig, who is at the top of the leaderboards, Always. will probably just throw monkeys at you if he sees you. This is definitely not Rust, where you'll be bullied into oblivion. Oh, he can throw out all kinds of monkeys. Oh my god. You have unlimited <laughs> monkeys? What? That's better than any weapon that I know of. Oh, shit. Oh, no. <laughs> Run. It'll be like Rust, where, like, if you're successful in real life, they just bully you for that. Yeah, I bet you got kids. I bet you got a job. <laughs> made one call out on Valor, and they kept saying, hey, You got a 401k, 401K, you fucking loser. <laughs> and that's about it. That is all that I have to say, dear viewer. I can't thank you enough for watching my video. You're the one that gives me the kind of gauntlet power that I have right now to do dumb shit like put Swouse in a video game. I don't know why I use all my power to put Swouse in a video game, but it's in there now. Because I you can. had half as much fun watching this video as I did making because it, because it was a fucking fun. blast, and I can't wait to do it again with the 2042 video. That one has actual fire in it. Oh, man. Yeah, some of you already know, but my PC caught on fire while playing the Battlefield 2042 beta, and I will tell you the whole story next time when I'm, when I actually have, like, a well-rested night where I'm not just spending time swapping out PC components to see what the fuck caught on fire and what didn't and Whoa. what's still works and what doesn't i'm like a grease monkey for pc parts please end me so if you ever wanted to hear a story about a pc turning into the human tor flame on then uh you're gonna have to tune in next time on dragon ball z or just <laughs> come back here well i'm definitely looking forward to that yeah, the 2042 beta is, uh, ooh, it's quite something. I have right now a 2060 Super. I was actually surprised that I could manage to play that on high. But it, it works. It works wonders. But, guys, this was yet another amazing video, man. I can't believe that Badger's reaching so far. And, well, not that it's hard to believe, but it's just it's wonderful that he has this, this reach now. And, yeah. Above all others, like all this mocap stuff just makes it so much more special. But guys, thanks a lot for checking this out. And of course, as always, you know what to do. Hit that like button if you liked this reaction. Or the dislike button if you didn't. I like some fair criticism. And as always, of course, if you want to see more of my content, subscribe. And uh, yeah, check out some of the other videos. And leave your suggestion in the comment section below if you want me to react to something else. That said though, I wish you a wonderful evening. And see you guys next time. Bye.